styrofoam is actually very detrimental to the environment. Roxana Pavel is the owner of All Mine Pizza in Oceanside. She's been in business here for two years and has never used styrofoam product. While compostable to-go containers may be a bit more expensive. Probably pennies. She says that's just part of doing business. That includes rent, labor, uh, food, and, and to-go containers. So anything that we pay that we actually give to a consumer, we transfer that cost and we build it into our products. Um, I think in the long run, it's definitely cheaper because the cost of the impact to the environment is much higher. She says 10 years ago, it was harder to find compostable containers, but now they're available from almost every major supplier. Nearby at Matsu, owner William Ike also supports the band. We're actually really excited for it because we want to be a very sustainable and, and conscious restaurant. He also uses compostable containers, and he hopes the band will encourage his suppliers to ditch polystyrene or styrofoam as well. Fresh seafood is shipped to his restaurant in styrofoam containers for temperature control. We're excited to see how they handle that and, and maybe we can reuse the uh, containers that they do come in or we can send them back to them and they can reuse them and make it a little more sustainable. The problem with styrofoam containers is that when you finish with your food and throw in the trash, it doesn't always stay in the trash. It can end up on the beach and break down to these microplastics that end up in the ocean. Fish eat this, we eat the fish. Um, you know, plastic is already in my body, it's in your body, it's in the body of everyone viewing. So it's really important that local cities step up and take action to reduce it in our environment. Mitch Silverstein with the Surfrider Foundation says that's why the ban in Oceanside is part of the city's marine debris reduction ordinance. It's something that the Surfrider Foundation has been pushing for years. It's the most picked up item during the group's beach cleanup events. Seagulls can get into it, but also it's toxic for humans. Styrofoam is the first phase of the ordinance. Come January, Oceanside will also ban single-use plastic bags. Alexander Nguyen, KPBS News.